Adventures. I'm Elise Bowman, the voice of Pan from Dragon Ball GT. And I'm with... I am Brittany Karbowski. I am Kami in My Hero Academia. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and this is a show where I bring you interviews with people like this when I'm at conventions and comic cons, and that's where we are right now, yes. right? Yes, Greater yes. Austin Comic Con. So stay tuned because I'm going to have an interview with Brittany. See you in a minute. so much fun being at the con with you. I'm excited to sit down and chat. You have some amazing characters. I love your characters. Tell us a few of your fan favorites. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I would say uh, fan favorites are definitely uh, Black Star from Soul Eater or uh, Wendy from Fairy Tale. She's definitely a favorite. Um, and then we've got uh, more recent favorites like uh, Rimuru from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And uh, there's, there's uh, quite a few more. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah. Yes, you have quite a few. And I love that you do boy voices, too, because I think fans get surprised sometimes when girls do boy voices, but that's really cool. Yeah, I kind of surprised myself about uh, Blackstar in specific. Um, whenever I uh, auditioned for him, I auditioned in my friend's closet. He has a soundproof closet, and he recorded it for me. And um, I remember as we recorded, he was like, you know, they attached a boy to the sides, and I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, and I was like, well, that was a mistake. I was like, well, why don't we just record something funny, because we'll make Zach, the, who, it, it, now he's a producer at Funimation, but uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, at the that. time was a director. Yeah, yeah you met yeah. Zach, yeah. So I was like, let's just make him laugh. <laughs> so we recorded something we thought would just be hilarious. That's yeah. it, it was like just, if I act really ridiculous, so I just do the most ridiculous thing, you know, just a stupid thing I could think of, and then, uh, yeah, and then uh, he liked it. So. Isn't that crazy when yeah. that kind of thing happens, you just go, oh, I'm gonna be crazy, yeah. and then you book that I role. Know. And I know, and I was like, I was just trying to make him laugh, honestly. I, I didn't know, and, and I surprised myself, and then, um, even recording him, you know, four hours in, I was like, oh no, this is, this is tough. Um, oh, really? Yeah, but, it, but it, was, it ended up being a great experience, and ever since then, I've been doing uh, boy roles, uh, ever since Blackstar. That's really cool. Yeah. And you know, one story I heard her talking about earlier that I want you to share is when you were doing this character, oh. how you did the shadow voice yeah. when you were recording at the studio. Yeah, so uh, Pride, this is Pride from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, mm -hmm. and we, when we originally recorded him, all we knew, all Mike McFarlane and me knew, um, and the engineer knew was that he was going to be Salim, which was the Fuhrer's son. So we did not know that he was going to be a homunculus at all. And we found out later that he was going to be a homunculus. So when we did his voice, we got really close to the microphone uh -huh. and they kind of made like a funnel type deal that would make, uh, make him sound like he was all around and then they put effects and kind of put it in different areas of the microphone the way that they mixed it so um, he's left and then he's right and then he's in the middle and then he's behind and then he's forward uh, so that he would be uh, all encompassing and surrounding so Salim Bradley what exactly is your true identity you've got some nerve to ask me a question like that Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, that I had never fun. heard that before, yeah. so I love that. And it, you know what's like, another cool thing um, it, is that uh, Alphonse, I was Alphonse in the OVA. Oh, yes. Uh, and and uh, so really what had happened with Alphonse is that it was an actual boy playing him, and then the boy became an adult. That's Aaron Dismuke. Um, and so he no longer could voice, obviously, the boy character when he was an adult. Um, and so when we uh, did the OVA, I was his young version. Uh, and uh, what you did with that was a metal ball. And so there was the mic, and they would put the metal bowl here, record to the back of the metal bowl, and the reverberation made him sound like he was in that empty uh, metal can. Really? Yeah. I love stories like that so that cool. you don't really hear about all yeah. the time. That's really cool. It, the fact that they came up with that was so interesting to me. And I think that they had gotten it from the Japanese. I don't know this for sure, but I think yeah. the rumor has it that the Japanese had done that. And so okay. the sounds you're hearing weren't added in. They were actual reverberations. Oh, um, so in the recording. That's interesting. Yeah. I love that. It's pretty neat. Well, this is so much fun. We're wrapping up the convention, and you still have people coming, so we're going to wrap up the interview. But she did give us three posters yes. that we're going to give away as a giveaway. So just subscribe, and that's all you have to do yes. to be entered into our random drawing. Yeah. So thank you so much. Oh, it's thank so you much so fun much. Talking. Yes. yes. It's so great to meet you. Oh, Your work yeah. is wonderful, and I oh, appreciate thank you. you. And oh, thanks gosh. for the interview thank and you. for watching, you guys. Yes, thank you. So we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. Hey, thanks for joining us for this episode of Anime Adventures. That was a fun interview. I'd love for you to subscribe. Click the bell so you'll be notified of future interviews. Click here if you'd like to see more interviews like this one.